uh, I was exploring, and I re-encountered a uh, an old friend of mine, Mr. Wither or Mrs. Wither, whoever uh, it may be. I don't know where the Wither is. No clue. I was just trying to find some uh, creepers so I can uh, fly away. Main reason I want to fly away is because I want to find an ancient city. Clearly, doing the whole, like, transporting a villager thing is not in the cards, and it's not going to work. So I'm just not going to bother with it for now. The whole reason I wanted to get a villager there was to really work on the underground base, but clearly, yeah, it's just not meant to be as of right the second, so I'm not even going to bother. I'm going to focus on the things that I can focus on, which involve getting some uh, 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 creepers, so that way I can get the gunpowder, get some rockets, and find an ancient city. My name is Brian Saviano, Bricks O'Brien. I believe I know where an ancient city is because I looked on Chunk Base with the seed that I have to uh, find it. So this is a thing I've used before for this playthrough to find the Woodland Mansion. Now, uh, typically with an ancient city, you would have to go and just find it. There's actually no way to go about like researching it on a, uh, a traveler's map or anything like that. You literally just got to find an ancient city by digging around, typically underneath mountain ranges. So I don't have to do that. I found it on Chunk Base by looking up my seed and uh, going after it there. There's Polly the parrot. Well, not Polly. Oh... I heard the wither. I thought I did. I heard something explode. I don't know. So, yeah, I just got to find creepers. Uh, the location, apparently, is at negative uh, 1784, 2120. So I'm technically going in the right direction, kind of, sort of. But, yeah, I'm going to find some creepers, get some gunpowder, and fly on over there. So I believe I did it right. Let me just find these creepers, and then once I do, I'm going to start making my way over there. I've been waiting here for four minutes, just waiting for the sun to go down so I can get the creepers destroyed and then get gunpowder. Uh, pro gamer tip, don't stare into the sun. Don't do that. Uh, not healthy for you. Uh, by not healthy, I mean you'll go blind. Literally. Like, I'm not even kidding. You'll, you'll go blind. So don't, don't stare directly into the sun. Not a good idea at all. I'm doing it here because it's a video game, and video games do not reflect reality in many ways, shapes, and forms. For example, uh, if this tree existed in real life, it would fall apart because there's gaps of air in between where the tree connects. So technically, this tree isn't real. Neither is me staring into the sun. You get what I mean? So don't stare at the sun. Okay? None of that. None of that. All right, so now that the sun is down... I, one thing I haven't really done, I feel like I haven't done at least, I haven't, like, destroyed mobs. Like, I feel like the mobs now, once you hit a certain point in Minecraft, they feel very, like, I don't want to say juvenile, but definitely, like, ah, you know, not really worth it to, uh, you're mostly, like, you know, going after a farm with the mobs, right? You're not, like, actively seeking out quests with monsters and stuff, right? There's only a couple big bosses around there, but every single mob, for the most part, just feels kind of like whatever. So I never really show me destroying mobs at all in any videos like ever. So maybe this is a little bit of an opportunity for me to do so and just talk about whatever else is going on because uh, that's typically what I do. You know, jumping around in Minecraft is great. Meandering about life is great. But, you know, what do you got? What do you got going on? What we got cooking? You know, uh, right now what I got cooking is a whole lot of uh, not necessarily nothing. There we go. We got two right here. Bang. Well, there are six right there. At least gets me airborne, which is part of what I want to do. Luckily, with the sword I have, it's just two knocks, and then they're done. Uh, I'm going to put the gunpowder right here. Yeah, there we go. Just so I know how much I have as I'm destroying these enemies here. Um, eventually, what would be really smart for me to do, very productive, would be to do a, uh, 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 a creeper farm. Creeper farm would be mostly for the rockets. Actually, let me equip the rockets right here, just so I can fly around a little bit more. Yeah, let's do... Actually, no. I'll go over here real quick. But... Having a creeper farm gets me a whole bunch of gunpowder a whole lot more quickly, and I can obviously do, you know, a mob farm for pretty much anything out there. Uh, I'm not a mob farm kind of a guy. It's not, like, my preferred thing to do in Minecraft, you know, redstone stuff. Um, and I normally just don't have a use for any of that stuff. It's something to do, but it's not my first thing to do, you know? So there we got 11. Sorry, I snapped the camera back right there. That might have been a little bit jarring. Oh, spider jockey. Look at this. I haven't seen one of these in a long time, actually. Wow. A long, long, long time. There we go. Spider jockey. Ooh, they move quick. Wow, they move quick. But clearly, uh, still no match for me. So, whatever. 
I'm on hard mode, so that's probably why I'm just getting absolutely wrecked by so many different mobs, but, you know, that makes sense. That's fine. Hey, Creeper. What's going on, man? Meow, meow. Um, I should really have a, uh, oh! You know why? Because I didn't have the, um, I didn't have the, uh, chess piece on. That's why. So here's the issue. So I'm back here, right? Take a look down there. Negative 361, 320, 835. So you know how in the nether, my grave spawned way up on the roof uh, and beyond the roof, like high, way up high? Uh, that's a bug. So that is a bug. It probably is because the Vanilla Tweaks plugin I'm using is not updated to this version, 1.9.3. So no matter where I die, it's going to shoot it all the way up to the highest point of the world, no matter what realm I'm in. So that would really especially stink if I were in the end. So what I'm going to do as a, as a, a thing, I'm just going to go get this stuff. I'm going to go back there, and instead of, instead of like climbing all the way up, I'm going to show you via spectator mode, creative mode, get my stuff, and then basically pick back where I was because... Yeah, doing this would, would take forever, and I want to show you for the sake of science. So let me pop back here real quick. Negative 381 or negative 364, 836. So now I'm going all the way up. You see me going all the way up. It's one, like 200 right now. So when I look way up here, you see darkness. You see nothing. You keep going and going. I discovered this after I actually accidentally died off camera. In the overworld. You see this? Bup. So for whatever reason, when I die, it goes all the way up, shoots to the very top of the world. So, okay, give me that stuff. My stuff. Dream. Dream with the SMP. Here we go. Bam. Right where I died. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do uh, game mode, survival, that, and then I'm going to save and quit. So that way, uh, the way that I do it is the land world, I open up, change the game mode, go back. So I'm making sure I'm showing you the game world is not as it is, right? It's a totally uh, unique thing here. There we go. Okay, so now I have full netherite armor. I'm locked, loaded, uh, ready to go, go, baby. Okay. So, yeah, see, now it doesn't do anything. So I was just being a Goomba and a cake having the Elytra on when I definitely should not have. I mean, it was a, it was a smart idea having a means of escape, but whatever. So, yes, I'm just on the quest to go find a, uh, a thing. What's- oh, did I mess that up? Did I mess that up? Nope. Okay, so see, like, this is fine. This is fine. See, I'm not- I'm not losing any health, barely any health, I should say. So it's- it's totally good. So when you get bombarded like that in hard mode, obviously, yeah, gonna be a problem. But generally speaking, the mobs aren't that big of an issue, right? Especially when you go into here, you got this, right? 17 of these, yeah. But obviously, not gonna be using the Elytra, because we know now that's bad juju. There we go. What really works out is when you find a cluster of creepers, kind of like this. Nope. Ooh, that was not spicy what I wanted there. There we go. Uh, this sword does not have fortune on it. No, it does not have fortune on it. So if I had a fortune two, three sword, that would actually work out really nicely, and I could get some extra gunpowder off of that. So that'll be an enchantment I aspire to get uh, eventually. But for right this second, nah, don't need to bother with that. Good thing about the creepers is that they stay in the daytime. They don't, uh, you know, magically disappear like all the other mobs do. Well, that and Enderman, I should say. So, yeah, not necessarily an issue, which is cool. If anything, I'd rather get rid- The skeletons are by far the worst thing. And I've said that 10,000 times in every single Minecraft series I think I've ever done. This is where a shield would be super helpful, but also I'm a massive Goomba in a cake and did not bring a shield, so that's just my fault. Uh, is there any other mobs, any other creepers, like the, the good kind? Well, th there actually is no good kind of creeper, I think, ever in any context ever. But hey, villager! Look at that. If I wanted to cure a villager, that'd be a solid way to do it. There's actually a villager right over here. What are you enchanted with? That's kind of bizarre. Uh, maybe from one of the, um, I don't know what, actually. It's kind of bizarre. Whatever. Uh, real quick, pro gamer tip what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab that, a uh, little bit of wood there, just in case I do happen to stumble upon this, uh, 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 ancient city. 
and I don't want to necessarily uh, tick off the wither, or rather the, um, what's his face there? The warden. Yeah, the warden. All right, so I'm going to 2,000, or I'm sorry, negative 1,700, 2,000. So we'll see how far I can get with this. Uh, you know, you know what I want to do? I'll just talk here for a little, uh, for a second. I want to do that thing that all these, uh, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Hold on. F3. Uh, no. What is it? F3, F5G? No, not that. What's the way? This is the way. I want to do that thing where people show their camera outside of their own body. I know there's some professional way that people do it, but it's like, um, I think you have to have a second Minecraft account to do it, which I really don't want to buy. I mean, I've obviously purchased Minecraft a bunch of times before, right? But I really don't want to have to buy another Minecraft account just to be able to do that. Okay, I gotta go keep going this way here. Yeah, but it's a it's a really interesting experience where you can um, you can basically show yourself doing a bunch of tasks, and it would have really helped, uh, as people told me, when I was doing the renovation for the uh, the the chest area. What's it called? Um, you know, the underground area that would have been especially helpful there. But uh, yeah, did not manage to do that. I've seen other people do, like that's like a professional Minecrafter, right? When somebody actually knows what they're doing. They do that stuff, and it works out incredibly well. So this thing should actually, factually be literally right over here Some Yeah, underneath a mountain. So that's where you can find a deep dark, is somewhere underneath a mountain. I'm actually getting chills doing this, all right? The only other time I've done this before is when I've had... I, I did a gaming session with a fan of mine where we were playing Minecraft. It was like right when the update first came out, and I managed to uh, find a deep dark alongside her and it was uh, pretty interesting because I was terrified the entire time. Oh, it was just me. That was the sound of me equipping things. Whoops. Okay. So the thing to find in a deep dark, you're looking for skulk. Skulk is the main thing that's going to uh, alert you immediately uh, where you're going to find a deep dark biome. All right. So this is going to essentially involve me going uh, all the way down in the hopes that I can find something. So I'm actually going to do... The non-pro gamer move of digging straight down, at least a little bit here. This is kind of how I dig straight down. Like, just do a couple chunks at a time. So I'm not structuring this for me to actually uh, be able to come back down. Or rather, go back up. I'm just trying to navigate my way down here. Uh, I am taking a little bit of fall damage here. Maybe being a little bit of a Goomba in a cake. Uh, I have full durability. So you know what? The mending is definitely coming in handy here. All right? So... I have not encountered a warden, uh, vanilla-wise. I have encountered a warden by, uh, trolling people on my Minecraft server. That's about all I've done. I've never actually found a warden, uh, myself for my own, uh, gameplay or anything like that. So this is the first time ever, man. First time debuting on the, the, uh, the 117 quadrillion things to do in Minecraft. Just kidding. Just kidding. It's the vault, all right? Let me just go straight down here. So, oh, see, I'm not, I'm not confident, man. I'm not confident. I died before. It was bad juju. Not dealing with it. We're not even at the deep slate yet, man. I forget what level deep slate is at. But it's going to be uh, surely a little bit more down here. I could skip ahead, but also I kind of want to show you that I'm actually digging down here. I don't want to, you know, oh, he just used creative mode. And he knows exactly where he's at. Like, it's only in rare circumstances like that, okay, for science. That's all it is. And yes, it is technically losing. Okay, durability here. But hey, I found the skulk. Look at that. Hey, here it is. Here it is. You're going to be a problem. Evade. Thank you. One. One, two, three. There we go. That did more damage to me than anything else. All right, so I'll explain this as if it's the first time I've ever done it. The bat. The bat. The bat. The bat. Okay. This is called Skulk. This stuff right here, Sneak 100, uh, Achievement Unlocked, pretty cool. This stuff is how you know you're near an ancient city. If you see... If you see a bunch of this stuff around here, that's how you know you're, uh, you're in for a good time or a bad time, depending on how you look at it. So these things right here are called uh, Skulk Sensors, I believe. Let me see if I can... Oh, mamma mia, stop it. 
over here. Go, thank you. Uh, if I try to mine this up, let me see what happens here. Uh, I got a little bit of experience, cool. So what happens is when you are in the area for a, uh, a warden, is you'll alert those things. Those are sound sensors. You can actually use those with redstone. It's actually kind of spicy. But using those sensors, it eventually can get to a, a very interesting, uh, a very interesting thing called like a, like a skulk. Oh, what's it called? The skulk. Skulk. It's like a skulk summoner, basically. So if you trigger the summoner three times, then the warden appears and it's a bad time. Uh, but luckily, all this stuff right here can be harvested for XP, so that's kind of cool. And you can actually take all- you cannot take the blocks with you. Huh, okay. So the only way to evade and uh, not trigger these things is by sneaking, just like this. You see what I'm doing right here? Now, because there are no sensors anywhere, like the sensors that are able to summon the warden, there's none of them near me right this second, which means I'm actually in the clear, I'm doing okay. But the ancient city is right down there, baby. Ooh, baby, here we go. Here we go, right on down here. So see that thing right there? That thing, if you alert that thing three times, consider yourself a dead player walking. You don't want any of that noise. Literally, none of that noise. So the way that you navigate the ancient city, as far as I've seen uh, pro Minecrafters do it, is by walking on this stuff right here. That is all wool. If you walk on the wool or sneak on the wool, you will not trigger these things here. Now you might say, Brian, why would you even bother going to an ancient city in the first place? Well, it's because there's a whole bunch of loot there. But Brian, you have the maximum loot in the game. It's called making videos for you. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. Do I want to summon the Warden for the sake of doing it? Yes, but you're not supposed to be able to defeat the Warden. The Warden does not give you any spicy rewards or anything like that. It's literally just for the sake of it. And now we're good. So, as long as you sneak like this, you're good. There are no enemies that will spawn in this area, so don't worry about that. Does eating trigger these things? I forget. No, eating just... Yeah, it does. So you see the screen goes black right there, it's like... <laughs> so if I do two more sounds, the Warden will appear. But cooldown on that, I think, is... 10 minutes, I think? I think it's like ten, a 10 minute cooldown situation here. The way that you can uh, easily not tick that thing off over there uh, is by harvesting the wool surrounding the sensors with wool and uh, uh, covering them up. So it can be a little bit spicy. You don't want to make direct contact with them. You see, I just uh, got that right there. Just like that. That's all you got to do. So as long as I don't land on blocks and I can just harvest what I got right here, that will be a much better shape than you might think, all right? So let's see if I can... Okay. So as long as you don't hear the sensors, you're good. Ooh, diamonds. That'd be a uh, very uh, tempting to most people here. But yeah, luckily you do not need to worry about mobs in this area. They will not spawn, so don't you worry about that. It really, and you really gotta sneak. That's all you can do. So the other way to escape from the warden is if you have an Elytra and you're really skilled at flying, obviously, uh, I'm not very skilled at that, so I, I'm apparently uh, not going to get out of here alive on that accord. The spicy thing around here also is this giant portal thing, which a lot of these uh, clickbaiters out there are like, oh my goodness, this is going to be a, a way for you to get to a new ancient world eventually. It's like, ah, is it really? People, people don't know that. They're just speculating for the sake of uh, getting you to watch their stuff. I'm not a clickbaiter. Okay, I rely on my shining, shimmering personality to drive every bit of thing that I do, all right? I don't, I don't got to scam you into watching my stuff, all right? You, you willingly scam yourself by watching these at any given point. So that's what, I, that's what my strategy is. So there's that portal, uh, gateway-looking thing way over there. So that'll be cool. Um, if I open that chest right there, right, uh, that could be bad. Yeah, that could definitely be bad. So see this stuff right here, right? Like, I, I need to surround this uh, and that, probably, with wool, like this. One, two, three, mm -mm 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 -mm, four, and I technically need six, because I need to get to that right there. So I need another bit, all right? 
oh, this could be a little bit. It's, it, it also takes forever. Admittedly, it takes it takes a lifetime to do any of this stuff. So once I loot this chest and give you an idea of what it's like, I'm going to I'm going to have to pause for a minute here. But then I'm actually going to loot some of this stuff and tell you what I get and uh, let you know if it's is it worth it to loot from here? Kind of sort of not really. I mean, any type of loot, you know, if you're going to be a pro Minecrafter, right, you're going to want to get all the, the super fancy stuff and um, enchant whatever you got. It's not it's not super worth it. You know, you're going to want to go after that stuff that is super professional anyways. Like, you get some stuff out of here, but it's definitely not like, you know, the end-all be-all for um, gathering up meaningful resources, you know. So the lore of this place is apparently... There was a, a ancient civilization down here that got ran out by the warden, and they knew that because they use all these different things here to navigate this ancient city uh, over the course of the life of the civilization. But there's no other Minecraft lore, at least that I'm aware of, of like, you know, oh, who were these actual people? Were they, you know, a different species from the villagers? Were they an ancient species? Like, nothing like that. So they're kind of leaning into the ancient stuff in a way by having the sniffer be one of the mobs uh, from the mob vote that happened back in, um, okay, I want to make sure that I'm uh, walking here appropriately, um, from the mob vote back earlier this year. Okay, I'm good. Uh, that, like, it's, an, it, it's a creature that digs up the ancient flowers and stuff from the ground, or ancient seeds, I believe. So that's a pretty cool uh, concept there. They're probably going to lean way more into that. So, boop, now I cover that up right there. That is technically covered up. It's technically good to go, okay? So I don't know. I What I'm going to do is cover this one up over here, right? You see? Okay, so by me jumping while crouching, it doesn't actually trigger anything, all right? Ooh, candles. Okay, so those are not sensors right here. These candles... Can I light candles? Does that trigger anything? Okay, no. I mean, it does, but there was nothing triggered for real over here because there's no sensor anywhere. And I can jump down off of these and be good to go. So now when I open up this chest, nothing should be alerted, but it will make a sound. Correct. So there's a book, Amethyst Shard, books, and then Diamond Horse Armor. So the Diamond Horse Armor, obviously pretty awesome. But that's not definitively what we're here for. There's a lot of other things, uh, more, way more important than that. So the Grey Wool is obviously going to be important. And luckily, yeah, I don't got to worry about mobs, man. There's no mobs anywhere around here I got to be concerned about, which is awesome. And they do re-trigger once you close the chest again. I'm going to go, ooh, there's another chest up there. Okay. I'm going to make my way over to here. So I like the ancient city. I What I really want to see is somebody not only restore this thing to kind of its former glory, but also like what would this place look like inhabited? You make a base out of it, you know, because of um, the way that the these things work over here. If you take out all these sensors right here, if you take them out of here, the warden will not spawn and you essentially have a safe haven from any enemies. So that's kind of Interesting. Okay, so no, no sound was triggered there. That's cool. You can kind of rely on the Minecraft sounds to figure out what triggers and what doesn't here. So there's clearly no sensors around here. Got a music disc, C418 cat. That's kind of cool. Skulk scanner, or skulk sensor, I'm sorry. So three sensors, some glowberries, compass. Yeah, not really worthwhile anywhere else. Okay. So where is, there's like a little water over there. So here's the portal, actually. This portal, it's kind of a portal. It's not, I, I guess it's not really a portal. Um, there should be some loot over here, but there's like redstone chests, or I'm sorry, redstone lamps over here that you can uh, pursue if you do choose. Okay, is there any... I mean, I can bridge over here, I guess, with these. This is where wool becomes very useful. So should I have prepared with wool? Absolutely, but you also know I'm a Goomba and a cake, so uh, verified, verified Goomba as you, as you know, as you live and breathe, Jafil. I'm going to go to the front of the portal just to show you this, and then I'm going to start to get on my, my own way here. If I were also really smart, I would have brought those shears, because I was actually going to go for the turtle. The turtle eggs as well. Did not happen. Not a second. So, whoops. Okay, and it's actually kind of hard to see. I mean, it's hard to see for you. It's hard to see for me, man. 
trying to see where things are at. But yeah, it being all dark, and I actually have this Minecraft stuff on a maximum brightness as well. So it is not, uh, not a me issue necessarily here. All right. There we go. Okay. So there could be something toward the very front here. We'll see, but you see these redstone torches, or redstone lamps, I should say. Yeah. Kind of spicy, right? Any chest over here? No, but you see, you see that, like, outline right here? This thing right here, a lot of people are speculating it's a portal of some kind. The warden is a ancient creature that people can summon, but there's uh, nothing you can do with this. If you try to light it, you try to do anything, uh, nothing happens, and you can't mine up that block. There is literally zero zilch you can do with that block there. There's nothing to do here other than loot everything. So maybe in a future update, you'll be able to go to a um, another realm or something. Who knows? And you're probably watching this five years from now and like, duh, Brian, of course you can go. Of course you can go to the Warden Realm. <laughs> you know, the pro Minecrafters, all those people that were speculating in 2023 were like, yeah, of course in 2027. Of course there was. How, how could you not see it? You know what I mean? It's just like, man, that's how it be. You just got to plan ahead and hope for the best and keep on meowing it out regardless. Okay, so there's definitely going to be a sensor that I have to uh, 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 go against here. I'm going to... Okay. So as long as you don't see the flashing black on screen, then you're good. That's when you know you've, uh, you've messed with some bad juju. But as long as you don't uh, get the bad juju, you are solid. Bop, bop. So if you place a block right on top of that sensor, yeah, you're done for. You don't you don't want that energy. Press my luck. Okay. Two. Music disc five fragment here. It's a new recipe book. Once I get enough fragments, I can make music disc five, which I believe is also a very haunting thing here. Swift sneak two, which I believe this is exclusive to here. A bunch of amethyst shards, which I think are also exclusive. Wait. If I close this. What is that sound effect? That noise. If I close this. That's three. Before I do that. <laughs> Let me see what the cooldown is. Uh, Warden, sensor, cooldown, Minecraft. Look at that sound, that listen thing there. Um, no. Not the, not the skulk sensor cooldown. Yes. What is the cooldown here? It looks, it, 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 now I'm kind of, now a little freaking out, you know what I mean? A little, a little, a little bit here. A little bit here. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Vibration detection. Um... Okay, if a player does not activate any Skulk Shrieker, the warning level decreases by one every 10 minutes. After the shrieking ends, all players in survival or adventure mode within 40 blocks are given the darkness effect for 12 seconds. So the darkness effect didn't apply to me. Well, I mean, maybe it did and I realize it, but it didn't register because I'm in a chest. So if I close this chest, the warden's gonna appear. So I'm not gonna do that, but I'm gonna sit here until my recording is at Actually, oh, I gotta leave. I, I, no, I don't. I'm gonna wait until this is another 10 minutes from this point right here. So I'm at 35 minutes of my recording, 45 minutes. I'm gonna wait, and then once I'm good, I'm good. Or I can actually you see the timer down there. It says like 5:41. I can just wait until what? 15. 15. I should be good. Yeah. So give me a few minutes. Also, apparently, I've waited a good amount of time, as you see the 15, the 10 minutes down there. Apparently, there's four levels. So, if I close this, and I need to reactivate the on-screen text stuff real quick. So, real quick. It's paused up here. You see that? Up there, it's paused. Uh, video settings. Not autosave. I want to make it so I can see what the sounds are. Show subtitles, yes. Okay. Skull sensor starts clicking. Candles are, warden advances. So, 
That is the second warning, apparently. When the text at the bottom says warden draws close, warning number three, on the fourth one, that's when it opens. That's the key. Okay, so as long as I don't do that, I'm good. All right? Then I'm good. Okay. So I don't know. Oh, there's a sensor right there. I'm a Goomba. Okay. I'm going to do this. i do this. Make sure I'm not hitting any other blocks. This. There we go. Okay, so where am I going to go next? There's other chests that are around here. Other chests that are around here, obviously, still can't really see, but that's kind of, you know, it happens. It's essentially just a big old trap for you to get trapped and do whatever, right? Any uh, around here? I already went up there, right? Yeah, definitely did. So the warden, again, I would love to spawn in just to show you what it is. What I might do is when I decided I am done here, I will trigger one to show you what it looks like. My trigger one to show you what it looks like. Okay. But that'll be that. Ooh, a skeleton head. That's kind of cool. Uh, those are only spawned. Um, how, how do you get those? I forget. I forget how you get those. But that's beside the point. Do I see? But where? See, what, what are the range of the sensor? I mean, obviously. Oh, there's two. Oh, of course there's two. Okay. Ooh, how do I do this? Mm-hmm. Ooh, that was not what I wanted to do, but it worked anyways. Two. Two. You don't want to step on it. You definitely do not want to step on it. For sure. I need more wool. Baba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Three bags full. Trying not to get the warden on my side. Trying to get all the iron inside of these chests and the music discs. Just gonna meow it out some more. Gonna go get some wool over here. Gonna go run and cower and fear. The warden's here, the warden's there. But I'm gonna mine as if I don't really care. Doom, do, doom, doom, do, doom, 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 do, doom, doom, do, doom, bass. Doom, do, doom. Doom, do, doom, doom, do, doom, doom, bass. Doom, do, doom, doom, do, doom, doom. Gonna go, gonna go to the warden. Stumbling at night, and I'm looking all for it. Oh, because of this, this stuff. Ah, oh, okay. I need to stop rapping, even though I'm a professional rapper. Did you know I'm a professional rapper? Not like a candy rapper. I mean, yes, a candy rapper, because candy's great. But also, rapper, Mom's Spaghetti. One of the things I did as a charity incentive, part of a charity event, was I did a Mom's Spaghetti video which is uh, definitely ripping off the actual Mom Spaghetti video that's existed and ripping off also Eminem's Lose Yourself that has been around since I was uh, a, young, a young Brian. And I, I ripped that off because, yeah, it was part of a charity thing that I recite Mom Spaghetti. And made a, I made a little music video out of it. So if you happen to be any means of the internet, man, you can, uh, you can watch or listen to my rendition of Mom Spaghetti for yourself. It's pretty awesome. There we go. I'm going to snag this one real quick. Okay, now, is there is there any chance that this over here triggers that? I guess I'll find out. Jafil? Meow, meow. Uh, let's find out. Wait, before I find out, real quick, is there any chance? Nah. We're good. <laughs> We're good. Imagine if I do the, the the bottle of enchanting chicken 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 right on the ground. Like, yeah, right. That's a that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Okay, so there's one down there, but yeah, the sensors don't do anything. It's a shrieker that really causes an issue here, okay? I'm so close, I almost have five. Ooh. Other side. That's one of my favorite ones. Nice. I love other under other side. 
One of my one of my favorite songs of Minecraft, man. I love I love that as a newer release here. What I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go get all five pieces of that five music disc. I think it's a really creepy one too, so I'm not actually gonna use it. But after I get all five, that's when I'll go into creative summon the warden and basically get on at it. Well, should I try risking it? Mm. For the sake of the content the authenticity of what I'm doing here mm, I'd, I'd be be perplexed if I could uh, you know try to do it legit here I don't know man well I don't know what this is either this stuff right here this block I don't know what that is is that a redstone it must be a redstone thing I don't really know whatever oh wait I have a swift sneak thing don't I but drinking also summons the warden right the drinking sound effect like a <laughs> right so if I do can I have it no, I guess not. Oh, it's the book. The book is what Swift Sneak is. Yeah, so Swift Sneak 2 allows me to move a lot more quickly through the ancient cities like this. So I'm really just looking for one more thing here. You know what? I don't think I was in this one. Was I? I don't think I was. Warden draws close. That's warning number three. But there's nothing up here, right? Loyalty. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. I guess so. Okay, nothing up here. Oh boy. Where have I not been? Where have I not been? Well, I gotta take a pause anyway, but... I need one more little bit of music. For five. Then I'm out. So, uh, I made a mistake. Now it's time to go. I gotta get out of here. I gotta do this. I gotta eat, uh, da -da 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 this. 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 Here we go. My name is Brian Saviano Brick, so Brian, and I'm about to die hardcore. I gotta get on out of here. That's what I gotta do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I gotta do. Meow, meow. Meowie, meowie. Meowie, meowie. Where am I going? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Nope. Go. Where do I go? Holy mackerel, dude. Whoa. Nope. I don't know where I'm going. So, uh, yeah, this is a problem. Welcome to the video, everybody. My name is uh, Brian Saviano Bricks O'Brien. I was uh, going down a ladder, and it just totally uh, uh, did not work out for me. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm in trouble. Nothing I can do. So I'm probably going to die. Yeah, even if I switched to like creative mode and and did all that, that would not uh, work. So uh, that's cool. Got to go back. My grave is very precariously placed on this mountainside in the snow. Very beautiful. Yeah, I didn't want that to happen. I thought I had a cool down. I thought I had everything necessary to do what I needed to do. I'm in creative mode. This was the exact spot I died. So the grave went to, like, I died right underneath here, but then it spawned right on top of here. Negative 17, 29, 136, 2141, right here. So it didn't shoot all the way up to the top. 
I don't know why. So sometimes it's buggy, sometimes it's not. I have... F uh, 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 f where are the pieces? Oh, four. I got four pieces of the music disc. So I think if I go right back down, right? The warden is not there. Or it shouldn't be there, at least. Do I have- I don't have any of my armor equipped, A. Alright, and I have- I guess I never bothered with snow. So that's a thing. So, you know what might be a good strategy? Is like, once you happen to spawn the warden, if you can like, have like an evacuation area you can go to, that might be smarter. Like, you can just shoot yourself up through this area here, like through this hole that I'm currently digging right now. You could shoot yourself up through this way, and then escape very easily. But when the darkness appears, that's when it becomes trouble. So, I've encountered the Warden, well, or rather, like, spawned the Warden on other people on my Minecraft server and all that. I've done that before. But, I never saw the darkness effect in real time. So, that's what really messes you up. It's not even, like, the Warden you can run from... But it's because of the darkness effect that really messes you up. So, I obviously panicked, clearly. I should have done a much better job of, uh, you know, going about hiding stuff and whatever, you know. I should have just been better than I was. So let me grab, uh, this real quick. Definitely want that gunpowder here. So yeah, if there was some magical way I could fly out of here, like through this one by one area, or even if you make like a 4 by 4 area, you know, something like that. I feel like it would be a lot more practical than, uh, you know, trying to flounder yourself out of someplace, you know? Alright, so clearly I'm back in the ancient city, and I must not have any warden effects applied, like I'm good, you know? So let me see if there's anywhere else... Yeah, definitely did not go to that one, so hold on. What if I- what if I try to be MLG Pro Gamer, right? Like, what if- like, if I try to get out of here, you know what I mean? If I try to do this, right? Just like this. What if I try to do this? Hold on. How did that not indicate the sensors? How did that not mess with the sensors? Seriously? Wow. That's... Wait, you emerge again? Hello! Whoa! No! 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 I didn't die to the warden. I died to kinetic energy. There's a difference. There's a difference. I should have made a bed. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? I mean, I mean, like, eventually, but like, not right, like, now. Okay. There we go. So, pro gamer tip, uh, where are my pants? Well, like, actually, where- oh, there's the pants. Okay, I- oh, they're on the ground. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, full inventory, I'm back. So, here's what the plan should be. Uh, the plan should be... So I actually didn't sleep well last night. I gotta I gotta listen to my book more often. Uh the plan should be to go back down and be more tactical with how I do things. But what I'm gonna do is make a bed. And I'm gonna make a bed right down. There. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Pro gamer moves, okay? Plenty of gray wool. Okay, this is- this is a tip, by the way, do this. So that way you can, like, easily glide down to wherever you need to go. Okay, and I'm slowly gliding. And I'm I'm shifting from back to forth, right? I'm doing this so that way I can, like, 
brace myself, and it looks a little weird on your screen. It looks pretty uh, normal to me. If I go F5, you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm kind of clipped into the wall doing this sort of thing, right? So so this is what the Pro Gamer Strat is, right? So even if I make my, uh, my bed right down here, that's actually kind of smart, right? Hi, Bat. What's going on? Meow, meow. Ooh, or should I, I should just make this down here, right? So if I do this, right, go F5, you can see what I'm doing right here. Essentially clipping into the wall, but I'm lowering my descent by moving left to right like this. You know what I mean? Okay, so now we're down here. I'm gonna do this, okay? So I did not go down any further, it seems like. We're good, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're good. Uh, ooh, further down. Okay. I should probably set it up right here. Probably should not go down any lower. Should probably just do this right here. Just in case I die again. There we go. Respawn point set. It's literally that easy, okay? I don't need to be a Goomba. I can just keep doing this, okay? So if I were also smart, which I never claim to be smart, but I can try to go down here get to the warden and not die because all I need are how many one more of disc fragment five and I'm good right because I cannot assemble it right now right I need I think I need five segments probably or nine I don't know whatever I need more essentially is the problem I have two a uh, diamond horse armor that's pretty sweet all things considered right so let's do this down to here. Literally perfect. That's just what I wanted. Okay. So even me being down there, the warning got all tripped up, right? Oh, this is, it's just tough. But placing wool and falling down like this doesn't actually impact what I'm doing here which is very spicy. Let me see if I can do this tactically, which I probably can't, but like, whatever. You know what I mean? And destroying wool does not trip them up, so we're good. See? Pro gamer status. Give me a second, okay? I have an idea of what I'm doing. semi so. Just gotta bear with me. Just gotta meow it out. Okay, this is the definition of meowing it out. In case you were not curious or unaware, Ooh, if I could go right there, that would have been perfect. Uh, yeah, but in case you don't know what meowing it out means, this is exactly verbatim what it means. So if I actually get rid of this, right? Yeah, I can travel across this way. Okay, because this is technically not a bridge right here. You see this thing? It's not a bridge. It technically is not accurate to what I want, you know, but it works out anyways. So I'm really hoping... Now, what if I put the wool on the sensor? You know, I should just be smart. And I should just leave this until I'm done. You know, I, I should I should not trip up the warden or have any chance to do so again. Because even though it's a new day in real life, it's not a new day in Minecraft. Only like five minutes have passed. It's not anywhere near close to where it should be. The tension is high. The stakes are here, man. Continuing to meow it out. Wish there was a way for me to go down there. If I place water, that's probably a bad idea. <laughs> All of this is a remarkably bad idea. So let me try to plan real quick a means of escape. How do I go over here, right? I go like this. Yeah. Okay, that's not that's not quite what I'm looking for. I mean, that could work. Right? Ooh, walking on this actually doesn't uh, mess me up. Okay. So if I really wanted to, what I could do is I could go down. There. I don't know why I'm whispering either, but I could go down there. And then it, once I'm out of here, I'm good. I can just shakoom right up to the top and I'm, I'm good to go. Right? Hmm. Hmm. So if there's some reality, okay, if there's some reality where I can go down here 
and be good with it. Oh, I'm actually out of wool anyways. I could try landing over there. Hmm. What's the best way to do this? Are you serious? Go! 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 Oh, mama! Whoa! Whoa! But I did it! I did it! I did it! See? Perfect execution. See? I, listen. I wrote a book for a reason. Pro Gamer's Guide, baby. I'm a pro gamer. All right? The warden, I don't think he can pop out of, pop out of here and get into the, um, get into the overworld on, on the very surface here, right? Oh, yeah, he's way down there. You see, you see, you see that nonsense? He's way down there. He ain't getting up here. Uh, yeah, I should just wait. I'm going to wait for this whole thing to calm down and then be good with it, all right? So if I do this, I'm going to wait right here for like 20 minutes or half hour in real life, then go down there. All the things are reset. All the things are good, right? Patience, Anakin. Patience. Okay, it's been an in real life half an hour. Okay, we got all this. I'm gonna do this so that. It fell all the way up. 320? Yep, 320. So it's so bizarre how it works. Sometimes it'll put it right on the um, on the snow level, like up here, like really right here. But then other times it won't. It'll spawn it way, you can even see it just a little bit way up here. I don't know why, no idea why. It might be because the plugin is outdated. I may need to update it. So that'll be something I need to do. But I just want to go. I just want to find where the warden's at. I just want to make this work. That's all I want to do. Hold on. Here we go. Right here. Right here. There we go. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go all the way back down here. Shakum. Okay. Here, quit. Oh, I should not have done that. I'm gonna show you the full process of what I do here. Um, so yeah, this, 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 nope, this. Game mode, survival. Because realistically, this doesn't impact anything that I'm doing here. You know what I mean? Like recording the videos and all that, you're still getting the full experience here. I'm still dying. Trust me, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not any better at this game. Okay. That's not, that's not what's happening here. So ideally I should be good for whatever reason. It didn't work there, but when I land, that's the issue. I did it. Wow. Wowee. Did I do this one? No, I definitely did not open that one. So I'm hoping. Huh? How did that? Okay. I don't know how that didn't trigger that, but okay. Maybe because I was crouched the whole time. That would have made the process a lot easier. But I'm surprised when I landed, it actually made a sound. I figured it would not make a sound. I figure landing lightly on my feet with the elytra was going to be like a totally normal thing to do, but I suppose it's not. So whatever. At some point, I'd love to make a base of operations down here, but clearly not while all this stuff is going on over here. So let me work on getting a half stack. I'm going to go loot that chest and hopefully I have five and I can just call it a 
call it a lifetime here, man. Let me just call it a lifetime, all right? My day has been going as smoothly as you can see, dying time and time again to all the enemies, all the time, all the places, right? I actually don't even know how big that uh, sensor period is. You know, like where the sensor sounds off and then it's gonna be like, oh yeah, you can, uh, you can, you can trigger this or trigger that. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. You see that? That's a, that's a, that's a mighty big problem. That's a meow meow problem. I'm gonna do this, this, this. Oh. Ooh, that's a spicy problem. But if I do, but if I do this, right? That should protect that? It should, right? I think it should. I don't kind of see why it wouldn't low key, right? Right? Because as long as nothing goes to the sensor, that yeah, I should be fine. I should be fine. Let's see. Apparently not. Dude. Seriously? But I did not see the whole thing of the warden approaching. Interesting. Oh. Oh. Well, all I need is one. One little itty bitty piece of the disc. Disc, 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 disc. I'm trying to make myself, uh, I don't know. Not as scared, maybe. I don't know. See if I can find uh, piece number five. This is kind of interesting. I don't know what this is. This whole wall blue structure over here. Kind of cool. I wonder if they'll ever expand on the lore of all this stuff. I know everything has its own generation name. You know, when you go into the settings and whatnot, and you kind of see, like, everything. Like, this little thing has a name, you know? So when it spawns into the world, it's like, oh, put this structure here. Do this thing, do that thing, you know? It's a lot of, lot of that stuff. So I don't know what it is. But if I had to take a guess, there was some sort of civilization that was here and then they were like yeah we want to try to get to this new world or we are surrounding ourselves near this portal to a new world for the sake of it you know and then the warden was one of the creatures kind of kind of i guess like the upside down in uh the stranger things you know like the the portal was here they kind of made the society around the portal but then they realized that one of the creatures that got out was the warden and although within inside this uh, portal to this whatever world that it is, there's a way to, like, defeat that creature. For us mortals here, it's almost impossible to deal with. So, for whatever secret society thing is going to be uh, happening in the future, which would be, again, really, really cool. They could have it so, like, yeah, you can't really do anything to defeat the warden here, but there was some sort of amulet or object or something that could make it so you could defeat the warden but you have to find it in that realm you know that'd be kind of be kind of spicy so maybe that'll uh maybe that'll be a thing eventually who knows this looks like an area i have not been to i don't really know i mean these are definitely uh not exposed or they are exposed i should say we'll do this We'll do this, and... <laughs> this, and this. Okay. Should be good. Keyword, should. Keyword is should. Okay. Any hidden little sensors over here? Now, if these were wither skeleton heads, that'd be pretty spicy. But nah, not necessarily. Those, man, those are a massive pain in the butt. That'd be it. Oh, see, I was going to do this. I was going to do this. It was going to be a whole thing. Is that another one? Are you serious? Mamma mia, are you kidding me? I was going to do this. 
Man, they're sneaky with these, man. They are definitely meowing it out. Come on. They're gonna set me up for failure over here? I don't think so, man. I don't think so. No sorry, Bob. No sorry, Bob. Ba da ba. There we go. All right, so there were three. Oh, there's another one over here. Okay, okay. Okay, so it's very likely I'll find the five around here. Very likely. Do I take my shot? Kind of have to, right? Uh oh. So I think because I opened it and closed it quick enough, it didn't register as two sounds. Not bad. Okay, so I have my five, right? Definitely have my five right here. I gotta get out of here, dog. I gotta get out of here, man. I don't know where that, where that uh, shrieker, I don't know where that was. I have no idea. But guess what? I don't really care. I'm getting out of here. I have two rockets to make a nice, quick escape. One, two, three. Can I tell where I gotta go? You think I remember where to go? Yeah, right. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine me knowing what I'm doing. Yeah, right. All right. I gotta get out of here, though. That's 100% confirmed. So once I do know where to go, it's a quick escape from here, baby. I wonder if I just dig up. I wonder if I just go all the way up. I wonder if that would work. It might. That'll do. That'll do. Yep. That'll do. So I'm just going to go all the way up. And I'm going to hope that there is nothing of relative importance. I'm going to do this real quick. I hope there's nothing of relative importance that's going to negatively impact me and be good with it. Okay. This is clearly uh, not very interesting here. Just me digging straight up for like, what, a minute or so. Let me get to the very top. I'll keep recording in case I happen to kick the bucket. There's... No shot. So do I keep... <sighs> Wait. Oh! I have no armor on. Where's my helmet? I don't like this game. I don't like this game. <laughs> 